Well, well, well. Hello, fellow book questers. It is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I'll introduce you to these creepy but pretty intoxicating books. The Strangers by Jacqueline West and Still Life by Jacqueline West. It's the fourth and fifth books of the books of Elsewhere series, and this and the fifth one is the last one. And I'm here to finish these, but this bookbuster series. Let's do it. Hmm, I think I hear a ghost or something. Let's get creepy, people. So, the strangers. Oh, it's done, Woody. It's Halloween. Well, it would have been more creepy if it was Halloween now, but, well, well, it doesn't really go that way. It's Halloween and for all of done, Woody, and that means living, leaving her house again and again. She, she really does tend to be scared because, you know, outside, who knows what might be waiting for her. Not something good. Something creepy and something evil too. Dun 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 dun. So, the strangers. Anyway, anyway, she she found out that she was being stalked, but and the stalker's name was Walter, a high school looking person. And he was a very extremely um timid person and he seemed to have and he said that he worked for his, the smuts the people who work against dark magic and they are here to help olive dunwoody and the familiars as you know them um, leopold harvey and the dry and mighty Hort horati and now, and now she draws a desperate plan to catch Anne McMartin, who is still out there, mind you, with her painted little form. And she does summon her with the summoning candle. This is a summoning candle. You grab it and you say someone's name and then boom, the person will be there. And she tries to trap Animal McMartin into the painting. But things go wrong. She catches the, she kind of harnesses Leopold and she uses Leopold to, we have no idea. Leopold is just to, to go and now he has access to go to any painting in else. Dun dun dun, including the painting of Aldous McMartin, the great evil grandfather. But in the end of the book, the old, um, and as it turns out, the smuds weren't any, weren't any good either, except Walter. The smuds, you see, they, the smuds, uh, they were Delora and the, prof the doctor, and they were actually quite greedy and they just wanted the house to themselves. So they were just like, yeah, let's get Olive out of this house. So they kidnapped Olive's parents and that's just incredibly evil. And, and they just wanted Olive and the Dunwoodies out of the picture. But, 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 hey, 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 let's say that. It's kind of creepy, but that's super evil for people who fight against dark magic. Hello. But they managed to find out the scheme just in time and managed to finish it off. But, the, but the, what you didn't hear is that all of the McMartins are under two are, are in the basement, like a tomb, right? And and uh, and they are all free now because of a certain spell cast by certain idiots, and they're certain. And then one of them is the real animal McMartin, who has aged and nah, she she's not evil, and so she 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 stopped her younger self. She burned her younger self to ash. 
And that's the end of the fourth book. But we know that Atlas McMartin is prowling out there. Still Life by Jacqueline West. Something creepy waits just outside the stone house. Extremely intriguing, isn't it? Atlas McMartin himself just waiting to reclaim his house. So, it's winter now. It's Christmas, just after the event of the strangers, after Halloween. Woohoo! Christmas! Yay, Christmas. Christmas. The books of elsewhere. And and she she doesn't want to go outside because she knows that Atlas himself is waiting outside, just waiting for the chance to get inside his house and reclaim his legacy. And she discovered why, how the elsewhere was began has begun. Elsewhere was supposed to make his very own wife. Immortal. She was sick. She was dying. So she just, he just made her immortal in her, in the paint. And that was sad. What do you have to say? His own wife, she turned her to paint just so she could become, again, she could live forever, for eternity. <sighs> And she is still trapped in a room. And right now, the only thing they have to do is to defeat Atlas McMartin. After a few devious things they saw, they managed to find uh, number one, a thing, uh, they managed to find an overlayered painting. And the painting, it was super good actually. And art was pretty good actually. And underneath, was uh what that they trapped um you know the this boy this boy's parents morton's parents and then when they finally were rescued however you knew you know you know you know the one of them happened to be evil mary nivens the mother was just desperate for a family but still she was doing Quite evil things for him. And I'm not telling you the last, it's very tear bringing. A death of a certain cat, perhaps. And I'm not gonna tell you what happens next. And it's a great book. And like always, your book question, Aaron the Book Question. Something's creeping outside your house. And you know it's going to get you.